According to my mom, I always wanted to be a teacher. She said that I would always walk around with a notebook and pencil, attempting to write down whatever I could. My favorite childhood game was Escuelita, or Little School, where I would teach my brother and cousins everything I knew, which at that point was just the ABCs. This was such a big part of my childhood that for one of my birthdays I asked for a big green chalkboard so that I could be like a real teacher. I had an idealized vision of school because I loved it so much. I thought that being a teacher was about being nice, providing fun activities, art projects, and every once in a while throwing in a spelling test. I thought it would be the best job to have, and I decided that that's what I was going to do. When I got to high school, I knew I still wanted to be a teacher, but it was here that I decided to be an elementary school teacher. I remember my high school attitudes and those of my peers, and I knew I wanted to work with younger students. Also, as a high school teacher, I would only be teaching one subject, but I had such fond mem memories of elementary school that that's what drove me to focus on elementary education. After high school, I came to UC San Diego. After my first few years here, I started to doubt whether teaching was for me. As a psychology major, I found my courses fascinating and I wondered if perhaps pursuing a career in the psychology field was for me. As time passed, I knew that I loved psychology, but the idea of teaching came back up when I saw a flyer for an Education Studies Info session. I thought, why not? Let's see what they're about, and I decided to attend. Afterwards, I felt a little overwhelmed. With so many requirements that needed to be fulfilled and exams that I had never even heard of, it was a lot to take in. But after some thinking, I decided that I should at least take one EDS class just to get a taste. So I decided to enroll in EDS 117, Language, Culture, and Education in Center Hall. One of the main things I learned in this class was that despite the hardships I may have had to endure, I had had a good educational experience when compared to the adversity that some students have to face. This class showed me the ugly side of education, if you will, the injustice that occurs. The injustice that I'm sure existed in the schools I attended, even though I was too young to notice. My interest for education was rekindled, but for a deeper motive this time. I wanted to learn more about the social injustice in schools and how I could help by becoming a teacher and promoting justice in education for all. After completing the Education Studies minor in my undergraduate work, I decided that I would apply to the EDS Masters of Education and Credential program to pursue my career as an educator. Here I have learned more about the need not only for equality in schools, but equity. Equity is the key to successful education. Equity is not only about giving students the same content to learn, but giving them the tools that they need as individuals to access that content and, and succeed. As a teacher, I know that I have to focus on my students' needs, and I need to find ways to cater to their individual needs. Students are not all the same, and so I can't expect them all to learn in the same manner. I have to teach my lessons with many different strategies and components in mind, such as visuals, hands-on experience, and audio components, so that the diverse group of learners I have can all have access to the content in the ways which suit them best. I also have to make sure to reflect upon my lessons and teaching practices to see what worked well for my students and what didn't so that I can adjust accordingly. My students' actions and reactions are a reflection of what I'm doing in the class. And if during a lesson I see that students are not engaged or not understanding, I have to think on my feet and do something to change it up whether that be a quick brain break activity to get the jitters out, or by grabbing a few items close to me to provide a brief demonstration of what we're learning so that they can understand it better. Having the opportunity to student teach in two different places with different grades has allowed me to put into play all of the strategies and methods I've learned throughout the program. And I know that as time goes on, I will only continue to build upon this skill set with the help of my future students, colleagues, and experience in the classroom.